Hey everybody, uh, it's Saturday. We are doing mailbag today, uh, you know, despite the fact that it's falling apart over here. <laughs> I think I'm well enough to get through uh, the amount of mail that we have today, which is a perfect amount. So I will be back in just a few minutes. We'll start at 10 o'clock like always, 10 o'clock-ish like always. Hi, how are you doing, buddy?
then. Good morning, everybody. It's 10 o'clock. It's Saturday. It's mailbag. Uh, yeah, and uh, we always start with a little bit of whatever's been going on news uh, to catch people up. So uh, here's the news real quick. Um, as you know, uh, as of yesterday, uh, um, Crouton and all of her kids have been adopted and gone to their homes. So now we just have a little ocean here and her three kittens at the academy. But we've put in a request with Dawes for a new mom cat, and they've been kind of looking around. They think they've got a pretty good one lined up for us that would be here uh, next Saturday. So not today, but a week from today. And uh, that's that's what we're hoping for. That's, that's what we're counting on. So uh, until then, uh, we got these three guys and their mom to keep us entertained and to keep us busy. And you can stop drinking my coffee. You don't need that, Astro. You've got enough energy already. So, uh, so yeah, that's that plan. Oh, I see something got kicked out of place back here. Hang on a second. Let me... That's not good. Oh. <sighs> made a little uh, container there to put our ant bait in to keep the ants out and I can see that ant bait got kicked out uh, uh, so anyway all right so uh, so crouton and her kids all adopted uh, boy it's uh, sure easy to, to miss them but these kids are making up for it already then uh, what else is news the new mom cat coming next weekend and I think that about wraps it up, really, for stuff that's getting Academy relevant and interesting. Uh, I know everybody wants to know about my health, too, and I'm fine. I really am fine. Uh, I just I just run out of energy real fast, and I've been through this exact same thing. If you remember back in, uh, I don't remember, April or March or something, early this year anyway, springtime. So I got it this spring. Here we are again in the fall. Uh, autumn, sorry. Uh, I know I was, I was reading online. Uh, I saw somebody uh, from the UK who was very upset that fall is not a season. Uh, all right, you know. Um, so uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So I've been here before, and it, it just it really does feel like just more of the exact same, where I just uh, just get run down way too fast. So uh, just like last time, I'm just going to take it easy and uh, not really put too much pressure on myself and then hopefully uh, come out of it uh, sometime next week and uh, get everything back on track once again. So it is what it is. Uh, and thank you guys so much for, for understanding that. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, so that's that. Uh, no need to belabor that point. And uh, with that, I think we can get started right away. We can just jump, jump right in. We've got some letters here. I know there was more than just this one, but I don't know where the rest of them are. Oh, here they are. There you go. we got a few this week. Uh, so that's always fun. Let's start right in and see how my reading voice does. You might hear me snuffling a little bit too. Oh, there was one other bit of news that I didn't tell anybody yet, but I think uh, the people on Discord, well, maybe not just the people on Discord, everybody probably saw and was a little confused about what was going on, and that was this week too. Bad timing for me to, to go out in public, <laughs> but uh, I, I thought I was feeling good early in the week. Anyway, uh, that's not the point. The point was the, that I've uh, finally registered Kitten Academy anyway as an official business uh, locally. Thing that made me think of that is, uh, and I guess I should mention this to, to everybody, uh, the thing that made me mention that is I looked in there and I saw that we've got some checks that need to be cashed. And um, historically, people have sometimes sent us checks for Kitten Academy. And I know I've mentioned a few times that our bank won't let us cash those right now because uh, we've been running as a, uh, I can't remember what you call it in the United States, but basically a sole proprietorship. Uh, you don't need to register those unless you were doing business as somebody else. Uh, most banks probably would let it slide anyway, but ours is a real stickler. Uh, so uh, we've tried to get that paperwork through before and ran into what I thought was a problem and uh, found out then when I finally went to go take care of it that it wasn't actually a problem. It was more of a technicality that uh, we just blew right through. So uh, I made it into a much bigger deal than it turned out to be in my head. And the whole reason that I'm talking about it is, uh, and I'll, I'll probably have to get this word out somewhere a little bit more detail, but I want to let anybody know um, if you've sent a, a check and it hasn't been cashed and it was a donation to Kitten Academy, I don't think it's fair of me now to go and cash those because it, I think it could surprise a lot of people and I don't want that. Um, 
So um, I think what we have to do is just say, all right, you know, here we are, we're making a clean start. Now this obviously does not apply to checks that people have given us that are written to DAWs that are for adoptions because that's always gone to DAWs and will continue to go to DAWs. And the only reason those take so long to get cash is I don't see DAWs very often except for when we're picking up mom cats. So, uh, you know, if you wrote us an adoption check, you should definitely still expect that to get cashed. But, um, but if you wrote us a, a Kitten Academy check, um, uh, feel free to decide what, what you'd like to do with that. Um, and uh, if you want to, uh, you know, give it to a local charity, great. If you want to keep it because all of a sudden our entire economy is in a different place than it was, that's fine too. I, I completely understand. Uh, my point was though that um, you should probably go ahead and, and uh, write it out of your checkbook because um, I, I don't, I don't want, you know, just as a, as a group policy, I don't, I don't want to surprise anybody with that. And it would be, it would be bad to do. Um, I recognize that. So, so that's it. That's what I wanted to say, but in the future, yes, uh, we finally can. And uh, if, I think it's the first step on uh, our path towards um, doing uh, some things in a more official way that will be uh, good for everybody. So I'm excited about that. All right. Uh, let's see here. Jump right in with some letters. This one's already been bitten by some kitten. You can see that? We've got some cute little, uh, they look like dandelions on the back. Oh, I see some cute cartoony kittens here. Oh, I thought it feels like there's something else in there. There is these cute little stickers. Oh, I adopted a cat stickers and they're beautiful. Uh, and then we also have, of course, here, I'll set these up so you can take a little look at them. Uh, we've got these cute little uh, colored pencil kittens. They're very, very adorable. And they're all playing with each other. And the ones on top are uh, grooming each other. It's very cute. And this says, hello from Finland. Thanks for doing what you do and inspiring others to foster as well. We started fostering cats just over a year ago and you can see them all on the front of this card. Aw, well, they're adorable. Um, so far, we've had 12 cats stay with us and find their forever homes. Included are some stickers I made to give to the adopters we have. Oh, I see. Uh, the stickers, I see stickers you have to give to the adopters. And we got some extras from the printing company and wanted to share. Stressed Vulture on Discord. That's Stressed Vulture uh, number 2433 to differentiate from all the other Stressed Vultures on our Discord, which is, I got to say, full of Stressed Vultures. Uh... Just lousy with them. I mean, they're everywhere. Uh, cats uh, from left to right, down and up. All right, we got all the names here too. This is great. Siri and Esper, Muffy, Rudy, Mo, Kiki, Tasha, Yuzu, and Lychee. Uh, Harold and Wilhelmina. And, uh, oh, Steve, of course. Yeah, uh, Steve. <laughs> Those are great names. Uh, that's, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that and for sharing the stickers. And thank you so much for fostering. I got to say... I think I think fostering is uh, if you if you have the ability, one of the best things you can do. It's great for you. It's great for the kittens, and uh, you know it's it's what it's what I'm doing. So obviously, I think it means a lot, um, and uh, uh, that's that's wonderful. I'm so glad that we could inspire anybody to do that, because um, because uh, I think that's the best way to do it. And I think you know like some of the best shelters we've got shelters now here that don't even have a physical location. They're entirely fosters. Uh, and I know there was a big push to go that way when everybody was under lockdown. Um, and uh, I, I hope that that's been maintained because I think that's the best for the cats. You know, they get more personal attention. Uh, if they're able to do that, you know, it's just, it's wonderful. I know you can't do it everywhere. There's not enough fosters to go around, but every person that can uh, helps out. So that's, that's fantastic. Thank you for doing that. All right. Next up we have, oh, wow, what a beautiful garden. My goodness. This, oh, I see. That, that can't be a person's garden, though. That has to be a uh, National Historic Site of Canada, the Butchart Gardens. Butchart, I guess. I don't know. That's beautiful. This photo was taken from inside Jenny's gazebo. Uh, where Jenny Bouchard sat 120 years ago while she drank tea and planned how she was going to beautify a barren, dusty moonscape of a limestone quarry. Wow. Her vision has provided a world-renowned garden I love to visit regularly. 
Oh, I see. They call it the sunken garden. That makes uh, too much sense. And now that I look at it a second time, that explains why it's got uh, the, the, the walls that uh, sort of fill in the background here and make it even prettier. Um, they're, they're clearly the cut steps from a quarry, which I, I hadn't noticed. And if you want scale, that's two people walking on a little sidewalk like right back there. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So that gives you an idea. What a great idea to repurpose a quarry. Um, all the old quarries I've ever seen just filled with water and that was it. Uh, the one in the town where I grew up, uh, they used it for scuba diving lessons. And it was real, I, I never got to go, but I was told by people who did that. that uh, it was really fun because at the bottom there were sunken trains and things to go see. Obviously too dangerous to swim into. Um, all right, and uh, your letter says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, good morning and thank you for your continued Saturday morning entertainment. I tend to think of mailbag kind of like Saturday morning cartoons for adults. I was thrilled to see you receive the cat, cat at Nibbly Wraps last week. I've been meaning to send you some for ages, and unfortunately, I'm a major procrastinator. I got to tell you, the Cat at Nibbly Wraps, uh, those are the ones that have the little dried fish that then have been wrapped in like a piece of dried chicken. Uh, extravagant. Uh, they have turned into a real valuable tool for us because they take so long for a kitten or cat to eat because they're just they're big and they're chewy, and you've got to really like gnaw on them for quite a while. Uh, so when we want uh, like one of our cats to slow down a little bit, especially when we're when we're trying to eat and they're begging for food, I just whip one of those things out and give it to them and it keeps them distracted for a long time. So now you say I've also been busy cleaning up after the construction company finished their work for the day on the post flood restoration project. Thank goodness they're finally getting close to the end of it. It's been a long and slow nine months since the November 15th atmospheric river. I'm also in the process of sorting through all the boxes of stuff the movers recently brought back from being in storage while the tradespeople did their repairs. After 26 years in the same house, it's a hugely onerous and daunting task, but I'm slowly eating that elephant one bite at a time. I'm always amazed and inspired by how well you deal with the volume of mail the Academy receives weekly considering how much sorting is involved and the recycling that the packaging creates. Uh, there is quite a bit, but uh, boy, can I relate to what you're saying there. We've only been here for, we're in our third year now, and when I've had to move things around in the basement to deal with the floods, it is a lot of stuff already, and uh, I can just imagine 26 years. Oof. Um, nibbly wraps are my beloved bird, Bergie's favorite bedtime treat. The first time I gave her a whole one, she was only about six months old. She was interested and sniffed at it, but seemed to feel it was too big for her to handle and walked away. So I started cutting them up into two or three pieces, depending on the size of the fish. The cut pieces are just a bit bigger than other regular sized treats. Once they were a manageable size, she loved them and comes running whenever I shake the container. That's true. I've had, I've had to, to tear them up uh, a little bit myself when it seems like long. Uh, and then I'll, I'll have to sort of tear them up and you can't, I don't think you can tear one fresh out of the thing, but after they've been chewing on them a while, you can do it. Anyway, Crouton and her crew are all stunningly beautiful. Um, I've so enjoyed watching them grow from brand new tinies and seeing their personalities emerge into the fun and playful little cats they are today. I'll miss them when they go to their duders, but I'm happy to know that they'll have the very best homes. And I still have Ocean and her sailing kits to watch do the same as well. Whatever new mom cats and uh, Kindles arrive in the future. It's such a joy to see all the energy allowed to explore and romp at will in a safe and loving place. The Pregnots always provide enjoyable watching. What lucky cats to have a chance to spend some time at the Academy while waiting for their forever homes. Trinket is another beauty and looks a lot like my Virgie. Once again, thank you both so much for providing a sweet retreat from our troubled world. All the very best. Paula and Victoria. Paula, what a wonderful letter and what a wonderful um, garden uh, that you visit. That is just lovely. So thank you for that. Thank you for all the thoughts. I really do appreciate it. And uh, thank you for those uh, nibbly wraps. That turns out to be super valuable. So uh, much appreciated. All right. This um, is, uh, uh, <laughs> this is very cute. This is a, a painting of a cat sitting at a window, and in the background you can see sort of a harbor with some boats in it, um, or maybe more of a river with some boats in it. And then uh, in also outside, if you look carefully, there's a cat uh, on one of the neighbor's porches. And my favorite thing that I noticed, uh, it took me a second, 
is uh, our cat sitting on the windowsill here has his paw on a bowl of fish soup and you can see the fish heads and tails sticking out of it with little stars and things. Uh, lovely, beautiful piece of art, really. I love the colors. Uh, it's, it's just great. This is uh, Sarah Bowman and it's titled apparently Stargazy Pie. I see it's a fish pie. Uh, that would make even more sense. Now that I look at it again, I can see the pie crust uh, wrap there. Uh, it is an oil painting, Sarah, B-O-W-M-A-N. That's hot. That's really, really cool. And the letter says, um, wait, uh, uh, I'm confused about where to start. Uh, and the only reason I'm confused about where to start is they put a big thing at the top that says start. Uh, but then there's an arrow down here. All right. Well, we're just going to go. Uh, it says, dear Chris and D, Dr. DJ, uh, poem for you from your cats. Oh, all right, let me see if I can do it. I thank you for the food you bring and for my toy squeaky thing, I like that. Uh, I thank you for the friendly talks and when you change my litter box. I thank you for the naps we share and putting up with tufts of hair. Thanks for the box you placed for me, feel safe and warm and dry. Uh, I like watching you with your headphones when I see you walking by. I thank you for all the great things you do. Enjoy this mouse I caught for you. Now it's time for me to rest. For us, you will always be the best. That is great. With best wishes from Serena, Theo, and family in London, England. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, unfortunately, your card with one of my favorite pieces of art has already been highly modified by a little spyglass here. Uh, that's lovely. Thank you so much. And uh, that's, that's uh, very good poetry, too. I like that. The whole thing. Uh, I like watching you with your headphones when I see you walking by. <laughs> uh, very personal. That's great. Okay. This is from M. Hobbit, whom we've heard from before. Oh, lovely photo of a little sleepy kitty. Well, this looks just like you, doesn't it? Hi, buddy. Mr. A and DJ, thank you. Uh, thank you for kittens, lots of kittens, for mom cats and non-mom cats, for faculty, for mailbag, for sharing it all with us, for all you do, for being you. Uh, ramble on, dude. All right. Thank you, M. Hobbit. I certainly will. Uh, that's very nice. All right. Uh, that's our letters. I'm going to take just a second here to check the phone and make sure that everything is uh, going. Here we go. Whoop. There we go. All right, looks good, looks good. So let's get into the boxes. Interesting packaging for a single yarn ball. Oh, silver vine toy ball for cat. It's called Red Cat Ball. Uh, this packaging is really cute. Hmm. And it says on the top, cats are going to love me. What? Very cute packaging. Let's see, there's a note. The note says, here are a few gifts for Trinket's endowment. We hope she enjoys them from Frozen Tundra Crew. Yes, okay. So thank you, Frozen Tundra Crew. And this is a uh, yarn ball, as you can see. Ooh, it does smell. Uh, and it looks kind of like a, oh, it's got a loop on the top, too. So you could attach it to something or just throw it around. And otherwise, uh, it's very cute, soft, uh, beautiful. And it is indeed exactly as the title says, Red Cat Ball. So I bet they're going to like that quite a bit. The Silver Vine is a big, big hit, too. Um, so... I expect that the trinket will really enjoy that and she deserves the, this kind of thing she is you know she's a kitten um herself i've said i don't i don't think that she's had kittens i don't think that she's older than you know a year uh so uh so she's very playful when she gets the chance and uh it's funny because because trinket is uh very reserved around other cats until she gets to know them then you know, now that she's gotten to know some of the kittens and stuff, you'll see her wrestling and playing with them and having a good time. But she still gets overwhelmed real easy. And if there's if there's too many cats or if she's in a strange room, she just wants to get out of there. And then she goes and hides until she starts to feel safe again, you know, and comes out. So 
I honestly think that um, Trinket is, is probably going to be best adopted alone uh, to a house with no other cats unless someone who's very confident that their cat is going to, to be able to make friends and play with her. Uh, or I should also say unless uh, she ends up going home with one of these kittens that she's already made good friends with, you know, that would also probably work out for her. Uh, but uh, fundamentally, that's not for me to decide, just, just sort of recommendation. And uh, I'm sure anybody that, that was going to work with her could get her to get along with anybody. She gets along pretty well here. It's just she and Maggie butted heads. And I don't think that relationship is going to repair itself. Uh, so, you know, if I only had Maggie and her, uh, well, if I only had Maggie and her, who knows if they would have butt heads in the first place. But if I only had those two, I don't think that that would be a real good match forever. And so... You kind of got to know if your cat's a Maggie or more of a Logan, you know. Uh, anyway, moving on here. Uh, Frozen Tundra Crew, thank you. That's a cool one. I haven't seen this before, and I do. I love the packaging especially. Uh, not just that it comes in a little uh, plastic tin, um, but the, the, the little art there and the, the fact that it just says red cat ball. <laughs> That's what it is. Cats are going to love me. Yes. All right. Put the uh, Amazon boxes first this time because that's smart and that way I have something to put everything into. Oh, and I recognize what this is and I bet you guys do too. Uh, you can probably announce who sent this right along with me. There you go. I'm going to open this part so we can see it just a little better. This is two, uh, two steel bowls. Two steel bowls, a book. Um, oh, it's a cookbook. Uh, I don't know how that works. <laughs> Uh, here are bowls for Ocean's Kittens and a bowl for Trinket. Aw, thank you, Clint. I think uh, maybe some of these arrived previously because I know we've had, I think I think we've got a couple extra, actually, maybe. Um, but uh, we're making sure that everybody goes home with one. So Clint in NH, of course, this is Clint who sends these for uh, everybody. Everybody who's graduated goes home with one of these Clint silver, uh, um, I'm sorry, um, steel bowls that last just forever. What a great thing to do. And uh, I think they're great. Uh, and I think I was going to put oh this in here and label it for Trinket, maybe. Yeah, you know what? I'll have to label the box in a minute because I don't want to write on that. That's too cute. Okay. Clint, thank you very, very much. I'm so glad that uh, you're doing well. This says, oh, Laura Kitten Fan. This comes from Laura Kitten Fan, but there's also some notes. And uh, some other new things in here, I think. This says, To Trinket, you are a beautiful young lady, and I've enjoyed watching you play with those feisty kits. I hope you enjoy these balls, mice, and wand toys in your new home. Oh, so this must all be for Trinket. Let's just double check those. There's a lot of paper in here, so let's see if anything says anything different. Aww. Oh. No, I think this is all trinket. Okay, perfect. So here's what we got. Uh, we have one of the best sets of wands. Once again, this is the, the set of wands that has these nice uh, fiberglass wands with the nice um, uh, foam handles. They just, they last forever. And then all the good toys to do with it. And this one, I, I don't know if they all have come with this rainbow thing on the end here, the, the rainbow ribbon toy. I wonder what that's connected to at the end. That looks like a real fun one too. So this is great. Uh, wonderful, wonderful way to do it. These are some of the mice that are uh, perennial favorites. Is that the right word? I don't know. Skitter critters, smarty cat skitter critters. This is the ones that uh, Loganberry, for instance, loves to play fetch with. Always a big hit. Real basic, wonderful, simple, uh, good stuff. And then cage balls. Oh, I know what these are. These are the ones that uh, DJ had gotten that are silver vine uh, geometrically shaped balls uh, that are made out of silver vine sticks. Oh, this one's got an entire thing about how to do it, though. They take catnip leaves, they dry the catnip leaves, they grind it into a powder and press it into a ball. Uh, they also hand assemble the cage and then they take the fruit of the silver vine, the gall fruit, and they put them inside uh, with the catnip. So uh, I know these are a big hit because DJ bought some and everybody loved playing with them in the sunroom until they were just worn out. Um, and then somebody, I'm sorry, I don't remember who, sent us a whole bunch that their cat didn't like. Um, and we've been deploying those over time and everybody's been playing with them quite a bit. So these are a very big hit around here anyway. 
And that gives me a slightly larger box to move things into that are almost exclusively trinkets. So thank you so much for that. Okay. Great. Moving right along. I, I do think this is going to be a quick one, but we'll see. I, I saved all the stuff that's sort of personally addressed to the end, so that, that could end up slowing us down. We'll see. Ooh, nice tunnel. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, hang on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is there is there a note? Was there something on the address? No, nothing on the address. There are some notes I see. So this is the uh, Vesper tunnel, by the way. You can see it is a semicircle tunnel that comes with a little bed, uh, and also it's got connectors that will attach it to the other Vesper products. Like, uh, for instance, this rocket happens to be a Vesper product, believe it or not, and would uh, connect directly to this tunnel, which also comes in blue. Or you can buy two of them and put them together and make a donut. Um, so lots of options. And this this Vesper brand stuff uh, is Cat It, uh, who we know make a lot of really good cat stuff. But their Vesper brand is sort of, at least from what I've seen, sort of their high end line, the, the really good stuff. So this is definitely the really good stuff. Uh, I kind of move this if you can't see him chewing on this box from the inside. What's the matter, buddy? Come on. Okay, uh, there was a note here, though. Let's see what the note says. It says, our cats love this tunnel, especially our Calico Hera, 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 right? So we wanted to send one for trinkets endowments from Frozen Tundra Crew. Wow, it's really Trinkets Day. Maybe we should have done mailbag with her. Uh, as you know, she butts heads with Maggie. And uh, as you know, Custard and Logan have, have really been at it. And uh, at least with Trinket and Maggie, it's not even worth solving it, uh, considering Trinket won't be here forever. So uh, I just keep them separate. And that's why Trinket's not here right now, because Maggie's out. So Trinket's put up. Um, and I think, I don't even remember where I put her, though. I think I put her in DJ's office for a change. Um, that way, uh, the big bedrooms could be open upstairs. And then Custard, of course, is in the annexes uh, today where uh, he is refusing to eat his food because we've got him on the diet food. And I can understand that. I mean, I imagine it's just like, it's just like when, when you want uh, bread, but you, all you got is rice and it's, it's not quite hitting the same spot. Like I imagine that's how he feels where he's like, I'll hold out for the bread. Uh, but once he gets hungry, he'll eat that rice uh, or, you know, whatever it is, uh, lettuce, you know, it's just, He'll get to it. So it's not it's not rice or lettuce. It's just the, the like the low calorie uh, cat food, and uh, he he really uh, not a fan. But DJ thought we should try that for a while, so I'm doing my best to stick to it with him. Uh, okay, this is from Lisa G. Uh, as you can tell from the art, uh, it's always the uh, Cleveland uh, cats art on the Lisa G package. And therefore, we also know what this one contains, just like our friend Clint in NH. Uh, Lisa has been sending the same kinds of things for every cat that's come through the academy. In her case, it is a laser pointer. Uh, the laser pointer with the picture of the cat on it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Very well packed. There we go. You can see it is a laser pointer again for Trinket. It really is the Trinket mailbag so far today. The note. The note. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. Uh, again, we got like a, a real beautiful, uh, this almost looks like a, like a pointillism thing. Uh, I don't know how, or maybe it's just a textured on a canvas, you know, uh, but you lose that when it's printed on a card. Anyway, it's a cat sitting on a stack of books next to a glass of wine, uh, watching birds, uh, probably seagulls fly over some water. So it says, hello, Kitten Academy. I wanted to send this endowment for the lovely trinket before someone snaps her up. She seems like a real sweetheart, and everyone loves a calico. Be well, Lisa G, Beans, and Cheeto. Well, thank you so much. Um, yeah, everybody does love a calico, especially me. I really do. And Trinket, uh, by the way, I, I talked a little bit about how she interacts with the other cats. But um, she just loves her people so much. Like, like sometimes when she's in my office and she's all alone, She'll go and just kind of hide under the uh, the futon in there or something. 
um, bide her time. But the minute I open that door, bam, she's up and she just wants to see me and, and rub up against my ankles and be all happy. Uh, she loves the snuggles. When she's in the master bedroom, she likes to sit right at the head of the bed uh, and just kind of make it her space, whether we're there or not. You know, she, she just she knows that's where the people go and she wants to be there with her people. So it's uh, she's she's a real sweetheart. She's a great snuggler. She's wonderful to pet. Now, I, I should also warn you, though, uh, for whoever her adopter turns out to be, she is one of those cats who hasn't quite learned that uh, just like this whole family hasn't quite learned that hands are not for biting. So she'll do this exact same thing right here. But uh, just like Logan, Logan is also kind of that way. Um, she's not going to hurt anybody. This guy's not going to hurt anybody. He knows to not to bite hard enough to cause any trouble. And so does she. Um, but with every cat that comes in that has that attitude, uh, it's, a, it's sort of a mutual gaining of trust uh, where I'm, you know, at first I'm very nervous about it, where I'm like, Ugh, I don't know if she's going to go too far. And then over time you realize, all right, you know, like this is fine. Uh, like with Logan Berry. So uh, yeah, she's one of those for sure. Now you guys do have to learn to pull your claws back a little bit more though. She doesn't do the claw thing like these kids do. Um, and they get way too much into it, especially this guy. He loves to attack people's feet and he goes all in with the claws too. He doesn't seem to realize that that can really get you. Uh, I've been trying to kind of correct him gently, but uh, it takes time. Sometimes they don't ever really learn. You're just going to have to trim his claws all the time. Who knows? <laughs> He's wild though. He's a wild boy. All right. Uh, this looks like a, some kind of a drop shipment from Canada. So, oh, from Castata. Castata 0902 on the uh, Discord. So that explains it. And is there going to be a note or a packing slip? Oh, ow, ow. Uh, speaking of those claws, there we go. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you for all that you do. The kicker is for Trinket. Oh, I'm sorry. I just poked you in the face with that paper. The kicker is for Trinket. Three fur balls are for the sailing kits. Uh, balls with tassels as you see fit from Castada. All right, let's see then. This is also wrapped up very nicely. So, ooh, oh, this is some nice, oh, wow, this is some very nice fur stuff from both well pets, I guess. Uh, beautiful. So that's the, uh, that's the both well, Bothwell maybe? It's probably Bothwell, isn't it? I bet it is. Look how pretty this is. Wow, that's a, a fur toy. It's a fur kicker with these little tassels on the end. And I know how good these are. Uh, in fact, there's uh, there's one that's sitting, well, back there, but there's another one somewhere. Uh, DJ bought a couple of buy more because they were such a hit, uh, especially with custard. It's one of his favorite things to play with. So we know that's a big hit and that Trinket is going to love it. And I'm going to put it in the Trinket box right now. Uh, you did say that the kicker was for Trinket. Yes. Yes. Three fur balls for the sailing kits. Okay. Let's take a look here. That's these real fur balls. There we go. Uh, three of them are regular old fur balls, and then the other two have little tassels. Fur balls plus tassels, even more fun. These are exactly the kind of thing that become a huge hit with cats and kittens, and uh, they will carry these around and get all growly and angry about it. Spike will. Uh, Astro's the one that gets them. Oh, hey, look at that. You didn't use your claws on my hand just now. Is that progress? I think that's progress. Okay, you can't have it yet, though. Why don't you save this to take home? I know there's some of these around. Uh, I was going to say Astro, by the way, is the one when he gets a toy that he likes, he goes nuts. He will, he'll growl and he'll smack everybody else to keep him away. And he's just super like, uh, like hulking out. So uh, it's very cute when he's tiny, but he's going to have to learn better before he gets big. Uh, so yeah, that's great too. Okay. I don't have any place yet to put uh, Ocean's Kids toys. So I'm going to just drop these in here for a minute. We'll figure it out. And then I guess this one uh, will be stuff that we can deploy as we see fit. Uh, oh, or you can just take one now. Why not? Okay, Astro, are you going to start what I was talking about? Are you going to take one of these and start growling? Yes. Okay, you want one? Take that. Okay. <laughs> well, as long as nobody goes near him, I guess it's okay. But you can see he's looking for a place to hide uh, with it. He's going to take it all away. He's gone to the living room now, and he's throwing it around a little bit. But if anybody came up on him... All right, uh, Castata, thank you very much. Those are wonderful toys, and I know, I understand fully, uh, people 
including me, can have sort of mixed feelings about the use of fur, but the cats love it, and they just love it. And I, I think that's a fine excuse because, uh, you know, yeah, and it, it is nature's way. So there you go. <coughs> All right, thank you, Kostata. All right, next up we have, uh, well, no clue here. So let's open it up and see what we find. Oh, this looks familiar. Oh, it's a, it, no? Maybe it doesn't look familiar. I was gonna say it's a princess tent because uh, we've seen some that have this same material on their back, but I don't think it is. Also, somehow they got their shipping bag attached to it. Oh, well it is, it is a princess tent. What do you know? It says Jelly, Jelina pet bed, Jelina, I, I guess, Galaina? Hmm. Anyway, the pictures and instructions here clearly show the princess tent. So it looks like it's the kind of princess tent that's open in the front. When I say princess tent, by the way, I mean this thing. Uh, this one looks like the kind that's open in the front, but not on the sides, which are also fun. Oh, a second set of instructions on the inside. Oh, these instructions show one that's uh, fuzzy up close. That could be cool, but this one is not fuzzy. This one is trees on it. Look how cool that is. Oops, I haven't seen one yet before with this sort of pine forest motif. I like that. It's very green. Uh, so yeah, we know what that is. Uh, unfortunately, all we have here are instructions. I don't think that we have anything to indicate who sent it or what the intended use was. Uh, uh, just a sticker that says L for large. I'm going to take a second look at an academy and uh, nothing on the inside. So whoever did send it, let me know if you had any special purpose to it. Otherwise, I'm, for now, I'm just going to put it in the as you see fit box. And when this one ends up going home with someone because it's too beaten up and adored, uh, it could make a good one to put out. I think um, I mentioned that DJ and I recently went through and sort of tried to endow everything possible out. So uh, we might have a couple of princess tents in spare, or we might not. Uh, and we certainly don't have one that's pine tree fine, so that's fun. Hey, buddy, you came back, but you didn't bring your ball back. Uh, what's up with that? You, you hide it somewhere safe? You looking for a second? You going to just start a stash? What's going on? All right, who knows? Anyway, <laughs> we've also got a uh, caliper in here is playing with one of them in the box and jumping on it. And uh, here, buddy. If you want one, take this one that's for random use. We'll just put those around the academy right now. Okay, that one's your... Hey, come on, wait up. You know, this isn't going to work out. I guess uh, maybe I'll find it. Maybe I won't. Uh, Castata, anyway, you can see your toys are much appreciated by the kit. Oh, there you go. He's taking away number two. Well, now there's only one left in the box for endowments. Uh, I'll find them all in due time. He's... He's playing with it with the uh, catnip kicker back there. Let me get the, the ceiling camera on in here since they're kind of playing behind the camera. Give me one sec. I don't know. I think I can get this uh, to show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Camera, slow down there. No, now they're not behind the camera, but still. Mm -hmm. Which camera do we want to take here? Guess this one. Even though somebody's in the sunroom. Oh, and somebody's outside. Wow, okay, we got to switch all this stuff up. Hang on. There's the ceiling camera, and let's put this one over there. And let's also make sure that this shows a little bit more of the area where I am. Oh, ah, help. Wait, come back, camera. Doing what we can, folks. All right, we'll try that. We'll see how it works out there. These kids are being too silly. All right. Couple more packages here. This one says it's also for Trinket. Miss Trinket, in fact, is it's addressed directly to Miss Trinket. And whoop, let's see what we've got for our little miss from Great Britain. Ooh, the greatest Britain. Let's see here. Ah, yes. These are so cute. Look at that. There's also a good note that says, Hello, Trinket. I am so happy that you have enrolled into Kitten Academy where kittens learn to cat. But, oh dear, you've not passed your very first exam. 
Dr. Katz said you are not with kittens. You can be re-enrolled into a part-time course for pregnant felines. Hopefully you will stay until you graduate and be offered a permanent forever home with an adoring family. This will only happen if you're able to be friends with the staff, faculty. Don't worry about Maggie. She has her own agenda. Uh, other mom cats and their kittens. One lesson I hope you will be able to complete is that you put Top Cat, a.k.a. Spyglass, in his place with his rough playtimes. I'm sure all will work out for you and be a great student at the Kitten Academy. Enjoy your time. Take care. From Charlie, I. Furs and Meows from Weirdo and Kevin. Yes, a KA named ring for you to remind you of the time you spent at Kitten Academy. These are so cute. I bet they love playing with these rings. And I, I think the, the, the names on them are so cute with these little uh, rainbow beads that you've done. Beautiful. There goes the last ball, by the way. Uh, Caliper's got it. So, uh, Castata, uh, you tried. All right, gold star. <laughs> I don't know why I'm blaming you for this disaster that's going on. It's not like you could control it. It's all down to me. Uh, gold star for me. All right, put that in there for Trinket. Keep this over here. And what is this very heavy box? Oh, my goodness. I guess uh, we always know when it's a heavy box. We've got a good idea what's going to be in there, don't we? Let's find out. Oh, cool. There's a note right on top. And yes, there is a container of Fancy Feast in here, but so much more, too. So let's find out. There's a, a, a tiger here saying T is for thank you and <laughs> and for thoughtful and terrific, just like you. Oh, I love Karen. He's very cute. And this says, dear Dr. DJ and Mr. A, how are you? I hope everything is well. Seems like the summer went by too fast, as usual. I wish I had more time to do fun things in the summer, but alas, it's not meant to be. Did you and DJ do anything special for the summer? I also wondered if it's hot outside and the cats go out in the cat run, do they get hot with all that fur on them? Or would they pant uh, to keep like a dog to keep cool? Well, so to answer your questions, um, they don't seem to, I mean, cats will pant uh, if it comes to it, but that's usually a sign of severe distress. So if you see a cat panting, I'd, I'd be concerned. Um, in our case, uh, they do go outside even when it's really hot. Like yesterday, it was very hot, and Maggie was out there almost all day in the sun. And she seems to love it. And you'd think of all the cats, she'd be the least likely to with her crazy fur. Uh, so, I, you know, I think they, they like it a little warmer than you would uh, or I probably would. Uh, you know, you also see them always laying in the sun and stuff. Cats just, they're into that more often than not. Um, did we do anything special for the summer? I didn't. I hardly got out at all, but I will say our friends uh, made us go. I went to the beach one time uh, when my family was in town. So first time I've been to a beach here in Connecticut. It's the first time I think I've ever uh, been, you know, able to put my feet into the ocean. And uh, it is, I had to taste it. I had, I had to taste it because my entire life people have talked about how salty the ocean is, and uh, it was it was way saltier than I ever would have thought. I, I did not think. I thought, you know, uh, like like a salty soup, uh, maybe you know, it kind of tastes like a like a soup that's you know, it's yummy. It's got it's got just the right amount of seasoning. Uh, no, our ocean is way over seasoned. Uh, it is it is crazy. It's like licking a salt lick. Uh, it's all salt. It's crazy. I, I had no idea. So yeah, that was my experience of um, the ocean which in this case is a little bit more like, um, I guess it's a, a technically like a very large bay with Long Island there, but uh, whatever they call it, uh, it's all connected. So anyway, yeah, so that was it. That was my summer. Other than that, it's been nothing but staying inside, trying to keep cool. It has been crazy hot here. Um, the temperatures have been uh, more than I would like until last night. I, I got to open the windows uh, overnight and have everything. It's very comfortable. Uh, in fact, right now it's probably almost 70 degrees out with a high today of 80 so it's gonna be pretty nice actually okay i have a special project to send to kitten academy i don't think it's finished quite yet but when it is on your way i will send lisa the date of arrival wow i think you will really like it it's something very unique and i think it will meet with dj's stamp of approval wow ah wow i love a um the that's sort of a you know you sent a teaser a, a teaser that's great Okay, anyway, on to the box of stuff. 
Cat treats, use as you see fit. Fancy feast, use as you see fit. And toys for faculty and older kittens. Please continue to be safe. I'm loving all the kittens and cats. It's so hard to decide when one is your favorite. Do you have a favorite? It's hard to decide. Uh, every class, I like one kitten. I'm sad when they go home, but happy they'll have a forever home. Love, Karen. Karen, thank you so much. Uh, that is really sweet of you. I try not to pick favorites, but I will admit that whichever kitten likes me the most, uh, I usually end up liking them the most. I'm easy that way. I think I'm kind of like that with people too, sad to say. Uh, as much as I'd, I'd like to consider everybody uh, equally, somehow when people like me, I like them more. Uh, I guess that's just human nature, isn't it? So anyhow, uh, that means that all of these kittens are my favorite because they are all crazy affectionate. All right, uh, we got some Halloween decorations for the kittens. That's coming right up, isn't it? And uh, we got some tissue paper for our next tissue pit. Always a good choice. We have Temptation Shake Ups. Uh, these are Crustacean Celebration Lobster Crab and Shrimp. We got a couple of those. We got the Blue Bursts, Bursting with Flavor, with chicken, chicken flavor in particular. We got a whole bunch of those as well. Look at that, it's all treats. We got some uh, delectables with chicken and tuna. That's the the stew stuff. They they love that. I, I do give that out as treats, and it's always good. Uh, we have the Temptations Creamy Puree. Yeah, I see what you did there, Temptations. Uh, that's their churu style treat. And then we have one giant box of ooh fancy feast uh, chicken feast classic pate, uh, which is also wonderful stuff. So thank you so much for sending all that, Karen. I, it's Fantastic. We'll go to great use. Um, I'm going to put these things back in here. Actually, this one's going to stay out because it's going to go right to the kitchen. And then the rest of these, I think, will go downstairs, although not all to the same place. Uh, and uh, that's just an easy way to carry them down, isn't it? So uh, and then this can also go there. Okay, this can all be in the same, like, heading downstairs box. One more box left, everybody. This was probably a short one, even though I did my best to just ramble out of control. We're still clocking in under an hour. <coughs> Excuse me. Under an hour, but over a half an hour, which is what the robots need to recognize its mailbag. So that's good. Oh, hey, this one's from Georgia Girl, or a G, a girl. This is a, a name I love to make fun of because it's, uh, it's fun to say. G, a girl. I like that. Um, but what do we got here? Oh, look what you sent. That is too sweet. I know exactly who this is for. Uh, even if there's not a proper note attached to it for some reason, I know this must be for DJ because I was talking about how uh, these plastic, oh, and it's Turvis brand. Yeah, that's the right brand. So you got exactly the thing that she likes. Um, I was talking before about how DJ got one of these mugs. I think it was actually sent in a previous mail bag and uh, she uses it for her tea all the time. And I never, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the plastic coffee mug. Uh, so I never thought too much of it. And therefore, when my mom needed a travel mug when she was leaving after her visit, I filled it up with some coffee for her and sent her on the road with it. And then uh, the very next day, DJ's like, hey, where's my favorite mug? And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and she's like, that plastic double-walled mug. Uh, and it, it actually took me a while to remember that I had sent it home with my mom. That was how, uh, I guess, little I thought of it. So uh, immediately, DJ went out and bought uh, more for herself. And I can see that you clearly sent this wonderful fall-themed one. I'm sorry, autumn-themed one for, uh, for DJ be my guess anyway. You let me know if that's not true. She will use it. She does. Uh, she bought two and, and she uses them all the time. And in fact, um, she won't even let me wash them anymore. She just doesn't trust me with her favorite mugs. So uh, thank you for that. And, and uh, uh, let's see here. You've also sent something that comes in a Amazon gift bag, which says, oh, enjoy your gift. The purple one for DJ and the fall leaves one is for me. Well, I tell you what, I think they're both for DJ. I hope you don't find that. Um, I, I do use them occasionally, but I prefer the, the metal ones that are double walled, especially because most of the time when I'm going to get a travel mug going, uh, these don't, well, actually, I guess I, I can't say if I've tried these in my car, particularly. Most of the plastic ones don't quite fit, though. Uh, of course, DJ takes hers with her all the time, so it must work for her. Uh, let's see here. 
Ooh, oh, this one's even prettier though. Wow, she is gonna just love these. What a lovely selection. Thank you so much for these, GA girl. G, a girl. Uh, that's, that's just so fun to say. I do know it's Georgia girl. Okay. And uh, DJ's on long call all weekend. So this she'll come home to this as a surprise. I'll put them both in the gift bag and uh, uh, put them where she is going to find them. Thank you so much, Georgia girl. Uh, that's so nice and thoughtful of you. And uh, I feel bad for talking about how I'm not a fan of these before I realized, well, it was for me. That's awful. Uh, what a wonderful gift acceptor I am. Um, but uh, it's obviously going to go to great use. Like I said, DJ won't even let me touch them anymore. She's such a fan. So uh, these are going to definitely uh, not a gift that's going to miss around here. So uh, thank you very much for that. All right, and that does it. I, uh, um, I'm going to do the usual thing and get this stuff put away before we end the archive. Um, but uh, thank you all so much for everything. And uh, it really did turn out to be a very uh, trinket-centric mailbag today, which is probably proper because, frankly, uh, Ocean and her kittens have everything they're ever going to need for life already. Uh, the, the endowments downstairs uh, were truly out of control and uh, the piles and piles of stuff that are going home with each of them is, is so impressive. Uh, thank you for that. Um, it's, it counts for a lot of things in a lot of ways, uh, but I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say that it definitely also counts because I think um, it, it sort of increases the mystique. Uh, mystique, the legend uh, of... Uh, of the kitten's time at Kitten Academy when they go home with a ton of stuff. And I think that gives people a real feel for, for how special um, the entire community is and the, the fact that their kittens have been cared for by people worldwide is, is surely got to be a, a wonderful feeling. And I'm so glad that, uh, that all the adopters get to share in that feeling. And it's not something that's just limited to DJ and I. You know, as uh, the people that are, you know, sort of here and on the camera all the time. Uh, I think that's 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 what makes it extra special is that it, it goes way beyond us. And uh, that same feeling of. I don't know. Um, it just it's 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 great. Thank you so much. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Enough of that. Uh, I am going to get this stuff put up. All right. And then, uh, then we'll wrap it up. So. See, I, I don't think any of these are just empty envelopes now. I guess this one is. Okay, good. I keep every single letter that we've ever been given. And uh, it's, it's actually, we're going to have quite a few boxes of them uh, in storage here. But I keep saying that someday when I'm old and retired, uh, these are going to be uh, the thing that I get to go back to and enjoy over and over again. So there we go. take this little string that that was wrapped in and put it away somewhere else so that nobody digs it out. He's sort of licking it too. <laughs> hey, buddy. There you go. Get that. That's good stuff. You're going to take that and add it to your stash? I think he actually is. Wherever he's putting all this stuff. All right. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Especially good to have a shorter mailbag on a day like this when uh, I, I feel like I should be more out of breath than I am right now, though. So maybe things are improving.
Aha, I've collected all three balls. Yes. Feels like a Dragon Ball Z thing. I've got all three balls of power now. Uh, I'm going to take these. Oh, this has to say trinket on it somewhere, though, so I don't forget. Uh, oh, I put away the pen. All right, so let's straight through the kitchen. Great. This actually, um, there might have been stuff sent in for Trinket before, but I haven't sorted anything that's been sent in for Trinket yet. So this is going to be the start of her actual endowment pile downstairs. Oh. I'm going to carry all this down together. All right, well, hey, I'm going to just uh, end the archive right here. I'm going to take this up, like I said, and put it where DJ will find it. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, those three little fur balls that Costata sent did get distributed correctly already into the endowments, so that's good. And the other two are still getting carried around here, so wonderful. That's mailbag, everybody.